Hello, hello. Welcome. Hopefully everything's working okay. Chat in, let me know you're here. Welcome. So my name is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. I am excited that you're here with me today. We are going to make a pinwheel tower card. But before we do that, we're going to talk about just a couple things as we get going here. So first of all, we use this calendar as a guide for our Tuesday uh, YouTube lives. You can see right here um, what we're going to be doing each Tuesday going live. And today is October 12th, 2021, and we are doing a pinwheel tower card. Um, if you want to get this calendar for free from me, you can sign up for my email list. My email is uh, my email list is below the video. There's a link. It just says get my emails, click the link, sign up for my emails, and then confirm your sign up in your own email. And then I send these at the end of every month. So here in a couple of weeks, I'll be sending the one for November. I also have this free gift offer still going on. And I want to answer just a couple of quick questions about it because I've had a couple of questions. So from September 27th to October 27th, when you place a $50 order or more using this host code at shop love and stampin up, excuse me, shop love and stampin .com, you get to choose one of these gifts for free from me. So, um, I just want to show you really quick. These are the gifts. So there's the Amaryllis A Bloom set, which is beautiful. The, oops, not Shaded Summer. Whoops. I grabbed the wrong thing. Where is my Seasons of Fun? Here it is. I put it away. My, uh, you get, you can choose the Seasons of Fun set. Or you can choose these dies. These are the summer shadow dies. And they go with the shaded summer stamp set. Now I have one of these stamp sets to give away for free today on our Facebook Live. So if you don't already have this stamp set, or I mean our YouTube Live, sorry. So if you don't already have this stamp set, stay tuned to the end because you might be able to win this for free. And so anyway, if you want any of those items for free, you can place a $50 order online with me by October 27th at shoploveandstampin.com and use this host code. And it will let us know that you want a free gift. And then we will send you an email asking you which one you would like. You respond to the email and tell us which one you want. And the gifts are going to get mailed around the end of the month. I'm actually going to try to start mailing some of them out this week. Um, but I've had a few questions about that because people either think that when they place their order, this free gift is going to come in their order, or they think that they'll be shipped immediately. And unfortunately we just, I don't have the manpower for that. So, um, I have to kind of do things in batches. So we're working on getting all of our October thank you cards finished today because you'll also get a thank you card in the mail from me. I want to thank everybody who purchased, um, placed an order or purchased my online card class for October. It is now closed, so you cannot get access to that, but you can still purchase it. So if you go over to my blog at loveandstampin.com and click shop and click online classes, you will find there, there is a link to purchase the class there. Um, but to get it for free, unfortunately, that offer is over and those gifts will go out in the mail for those who purchase my online class where you're sending a little gift for you as well. Okay, I need to scoot this over. Alrighty, uh, let's get on to our project, shall we? So we are gonna use brand new products today. 
These are the Eden's Garden products, and um, they are going to be available on November 2nd. So just in a couple of weeks, you'll be able to purchase these items. If you're a demonstrator, of course, you already are able to buy these. That's why I have them. Um, when you're a member of the Stampin' Up! family, you get to buy stuff early. So this is the stamp set and the dies really beautiful not totally my style but I was like well let me see what I can do with these because you know it's like a little challenge for me the paper however I absolutely love the uh, it's called ever eden paper and it is gorgeous it's gonna be great for Christmas cards great for fall I feel like it really is good for masculine cards if you wanted to make masculine cards with it. This is the back. It's really beautiful. Just subtle, soft. I love soft succulent. I think it's one of my up and coming new. I think it's my winter favorite color. Can I have different favorite colors for different seasons? <laughs> ah, that's where I'm leaning. <clears throat> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That ombre is gorgeous. And then this. Some of you may notice I am decked out in my winter gear. I have long sleeves on. It dropped below 70 here in Northern California, and I think I'm going to die. That's right. You can all get a good chuckle out of that. I, I understand how ridiculous I am. I, I totally do. Um, and then this is... Ever Eden cotton paper. So I haven't even opened this yet, so I'm excited to open it. Hello in Germany. Welcome. Okay, let's see what this is like. Oh, this is really cool. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's almost like a tissue paper. Huh. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be more like felt. 30s in Montana. Yeah, no thank you. This is why Wendy lives in California. I keep telling myself that, you know, maybe we should move out of California because, you know, things are a little cray-cray here. But, um, I, then I don't because I love the weather so much. So, there's that. Okay, we're going to make a pinwheel tower card. Now, I don't want you to worry about writing down measurements or anything. Just enjoy the show. Um, I'm going to have the measurements written out on my blog, and there'll be a link to that in the bottom of this video about an hour after I'm done being live. I'm going to write out a project sheet for you. So all you have to do is go over to my blog and print it, and you'll have it ready to go. Um, yes, things are crazy everywhere, aren't they, Diana? You are right. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of four and a quarter by five and three quarter inches. And it's just, I'm just using basic white, thick basic white. If you know me, you know I really like the thick basic white. I had to go, I had to walk over and get my cheat sheet here so I can remember measurements. Okay, so we're going to start by scoring at three quarters of an inch, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. And then I'm going to set this aside. We don't need that anymore. I need my handy dandy bone folder. And you might notice how beautiful my bone folder is. Forget the dirt. I am a lovely stamper is what it says. Um, my team, when, when somebody joins Stampin' Up! with me, they get to, um, they are part of my lovely stamper crew. When they, um, hit a certain amount in sales, which is a low, it's not a huge amount because my goal is for everybody to be able to have one of these. I mail one of these to them. Isn't that fun? So, that's my little gifty goo for my team. So it's like if you are a lovely stamper, you have this special bone folder that I gifted. That's how that works. Okay, 
So I've scored them and then I've burnished the edges with the bone folder, important piece. Now I'm gonna take where my furthest first score tab is and I'm going to add Stamp and Seal Plus. Now you can use Tombow glue, you can use seal, you could use tear and tape. Do not use anything less. This is Stamp and Seal Plus, so this is the stronger one. Or you can use Tombow glue or tear and tape or red line tape, whatever you have, but you gotta use something strong so it stays together, okay? That's the rule. All right, so we're gonna start by just folding this over like that. So we've created a little pocket or square like that, okay? And then we've got three more pieces of basic white cardstock, and these are cut at two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So for these, I'm gonna use my Tombow glue. I'm really trying to preserve my Tombow because as I discovered last week, this is the very last one I have in my office and um, I've ordered more, they're coming, but this one is almost gone. See how it's like struggling to even, and I store it upside down and everything, but I am squeezing every last teeny tiny bit out of this. So now we're just gonna add all three of these panels. So the reason I like using Tombow glue on this is because it gives you the chance to kind of slide the panel around before it glues in place to make sure that you're even with both ends. And then we're gonna turn it. And we're just gonna add, isn't this simple? It's so simple, but it looks so like advanced when it's all finished. It's like, wow, that's really, really fancy, but it's really, really easy. Okay, and then one more. And this will fit in a standard envelope. So just an A2 size envelope here in the US, it will fit in, no problem. Okay, once this sets up, we're going to kind of mess with it just a little bit. Ooh, that's a great tip, Frances. She said, open the opposite end and my glue will come out easier. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for just a second. Now, I have pre-cut the designer series paper I wanna use. I just realized I didn't pre-cut all of it. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to cut some. That's okay. So I wanted to do like an opposites theme here. So what we're doing is we're starting with, um, oh, and by the way, these are cut at two and a half by four. But again, don't worry about writing the measurements down because I got you. I got you, boo. I will definitely share. Okay, so there's that one. So we're just going to go opposite. every other one. And I'll show you in a minute why that is important. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so the paper I forgot to cut <laughs> is for this side. So now I gotta grab some paper really quick. See if I have enough here to cut my opposite. So I need, so this should be four. Yep, four inches. So we're gonna do one and three quarters. And we need four of them. big enough oh it's not we need one more it's okay 
Okay, so here's why we're gonna go opposites. Now, it doesn't matter what designer series paper you're using, this is how you wanna do it. So when this lays flat like this, I want this paper here. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like it's here and it's here because this is gonna be the front of my card. So if I glued this one here, it would be this all the way across and this kind of looks funny. So that's how you wanna determine where your first piece goes and then you're gonna opposite each one. Now the cool thing about these cards is you could literally have messages on every single panel if you wanted to. Um, so like if this was the front, if they were looking at it this way, you could have something here. If they were looking at it this way, here, this way, here, this way, you see what I'm saying? So you could literally have four different messages or fronts to this card. So since I did this little one here, this pattern, I'm going to do the opposite pattern over here. Um, I did not do that because honestly, time, I just did not have time to dedicate to decorating all four panels at this moment. However, um, I definitely could see making these cards, especially for kids. I feel like a kid would love to get a card that has, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just leave this plant panel blank. Um, because I was just thinking you can write your message here. So if this is the front and you open it, you could write your message there, right? Okay, so there's the basic concept. So fun, so fun, so simple, okay? So now we have to decorate the front of this. So I pre-cut a few things. I pre-cut this piece from gold foil paper. It's this die right here and it's from the, what are these called? Eden dies. Okay. And then what I did is I took my scissors and I cut it in half on each end because I thought this would be fun to do. And then I trimmed down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, just eyeball it. So I did this on both. So I had a nice line. And then I took my tweezies, which I have the op opposite tweezers where if you squeeze it together, it opens up. I love these things. They're great for crafting. If you don't have a pair, you need some. You can get them on Amazon. Okay. Um, I'll try to remember to link to some below the video. I love the ones I have. I used to have some from Cricut but they were too bulky and like, I don't know. I, these ones are my favorite. I love these ones. Okay. So then I'm going to go with this piece here like that. And then this is a great way to stretch your dies too, because you're able to get different looks out of the same die, which I'm all for that. I'm all for stretching the products and using them in different ways. Okay, there's that. Now, if you have any questions or comments as I'm creating, please drop them in the comments section. Also, I wanna thank everybody who's giving me a thumbs up on this video. When you do that, it really helps YouTube know that I'm valuable and you want to see more from me. So I appreciate it when you do that. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I was looking at my reports the other day. By the way, this is a little embossing buddy. It's full of powder. This is Versamark ink, which makes your um, image that you stamp sticky. So we're going to do the sending hugs from the stamp set. Did I show you? I did show you the stamp set. I'll show it to you one more time. So this is the stamp set for those who might not have caught it in the beginning. 
Um, I love the sentiments. They're so good. I love this one. My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. So cute. Okay. Um, and then this is white embossing powder. So we're going to heat set this sentiment. before we add it to the card. Okay, let me grab my heat tool. Hello in Tucson. Hopefully you guys can still hear me over my heat tool. I'm gonna grab those tweezers again so I don't burn my fingers. So somebody asked me one time if you could use a hair dryer for this and the answer is no. It doesn't get hot enough. If your hair dryer got this hot, it would burn your scalp. So yeah, it actually is melting the powder so it gets pretty darn hot. Hi, Skeeter. Skeeter just came in to say hello and turned around and left. So I'm going to take my sleeve, real professional, I know, and just wipe over the sentiment. Bring this back in. Oh, we need to glue these pieces to the sentiment piece. This is the, I think this is called the Everyday Label Punch, by the way. Skeeter opened the door on my craft room, so now you're probably hearing the vehicles going by on the highway. Sorry about that. If it's not a kid, it's a dog. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. It's okay. I love my life. I wouldn't trade it. I love my doggies. I love my kiddo. All right, let's add Stampin' Dimensionals. Whoops. Get out of here glue and then we're gonna add this piece right here so when the card is flat and it comes in the envelope it'll be like this but then when they pop it up it'll be like that it's not fun hello in Riverton Utah that is the Stampin' Up! headquarters is in Riverton, Utah. I'm sure you knew that, Linda. So there is our finished pinwheel tower card using the new Eden's Garden products. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. And then you, there's a place here to write the message. So pretty. And of course, you can add all kinds of embellishments and like I said you could really go all out with these cards they might be hard to fold flat <laughs> the more you add them but um you know it's fun it's a fun simple card so let's do a giveaway so for those who are just joining or who joined us a little bit later um, we want to let, I just want to let you know that until October 27th, you can place a $50 online order with me and choose one of these gifts for free. And you just have to use this host code. Um, I do want to update you guys on the host code. We have had a few people who have always placed orders with me who don't use the host code. And then I just add it for them. And that's something I've always said I could do for you. Guess what? Stampin' Up! changed the rules on us. So... Um, they're giving us a little grace period on it, but you really have to remember to add your host code because they're going to get to a point where they don't let us call and add them anymore and then you wouldn't get your free gift and that will break my heart. So please, 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 when you're checking out, there's a spot that asks for your host code. Just make sure you put it in and that lets us know, one, what gift you want or I mean that you want a gift and two... We'll send you an email asking you which one of these gifts you would like, and then we will mail it out to you at the end of the month. Okay, so this is the stamp set that we're going to give away today, and this coordinates with these dies.
So if you already have these dies then and you don't have the stamp set, yay. If you have the stamp set, but you don't have these dies and you win this stamp set, let me know because I could substitute something out for you. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Let's do our giveaway. And the winner is, oh, before I announce the winner, you have to be in the United States. So if you're not in the United States, please tell me. Okay, the winner is uh, Francis Hof Hofton. Hofton, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Francis, are you in the United States? I hope she's still on here. If she is on here and she's in the U.S., she's the winner. And she, all you have to do, Francis, is send me your mailing address. And I'll get this sent out in the mail to you. Um, and that is... That is a wrap. That is our show for the day. Yay, she's in the U.S. Okay, so thanks for watching. Give me about an hour or two, and all the instructions will be on my blog for this. You can just go over there and print off a free project sheet. Um, I actually do project sheets on my blog quite often, so anytime you see a YouTube video from me and you're like, I wonder if she has it on her blog, odds are I do. So check it out. And if I don't, you can always message me. Okay. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little while, you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.